Pretty much just an average Thursday night at Dapper Dan's in North Richland Hills, Texas. It's pretty common. These are mostly regulars that you've got here. I love these guys. I think they're the best clients in the world. Some days you'll have, you know, just a couple of guys in the house. And there's other days where it's like, you know, a Friday. It's like 20 people in here just waiting for a haircut, just hanging out. Everybody's just chilling, having a good time. This place is more than a barbershop. It's, it's a place for people to hang out, get away, get away from the stressful things that go on in day-to-day -day life. It's nagging wives or even crying kids. It's, it's an escape. Well, you know, when I first started here, I was pretty green. And uh, I had never worked in a barbershop. I'd only been to barber school. And, and Dapper kind of showed me the way. He took me by my hand and, and showed me how to do clipper over comb, literally. And I use it in every haircut now. So without him, I wouldn't be the barber I am today. kind of a, a trend that everybody's doing right now. It's an old 50s haircut that's made a comeback. Everything always seems to come back in style. You got a lot of these cats now that are wearing parts in their hair, and it just adds a little, little swag to the haircut. Uh, Teddy named it the Sophista Fade, which I like. It's faded, but it's sophisticated. So gives our client that swag that they need on the job or just out in the streets in the club. That little boost of confidence. That's the style, all right? Messy, messy. I'm Holly. I am the manager here at Daffa Dan's. I've been here for almost two years now. Our team works really well together here because we just get along really good. We're family. This never ever feels like a job. I never feel like I go to work. I come here, it's so much fun. Just laugh and um, I like that saying that says, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And that is so true for me. Dabba Dan has a lot of repeat clientele because people come in here and they get their hair cut good and they have a good time and they can have a beer and you never know what's gonna happen in a day here. No two days are the same, that's for sure. I bought this place about seven years ago and uh, it's been a real blessing. I love my employees, I love my, my clients. And we're honestly like family. My dad was the one that talked me into becoming a barber. I never thought in a million years I'd be a barber, but I never listened to my dad growing up. So went to barber school, which it seemed like forever in barber school. Went to work for a good buddy of mine by the name of Big Mark. Shout out to Big Mark, Barbersville. Love you guys. God opened the door for me, man, and I had opportunity to have my own shop. So coming to work, it's, it doesn't feel like coming to work. It feels like I'm coming to hang out, you know, with my friends. And man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been in the business 10 years, and I've done everything from flat tops to mohawks to just regular men's haircuts. Just, you know, but like I said, everything comes back. So I'm sure one day I will do a chili bowl. I do a mean mullet. I really do a mean mullet. Some guys that wear the mullets don't like to be, they don't like that term mullet, so they like to reference it more as a uh, cowboy cut. But to me, it's a mullet. <laughs> My wife's gonna want me to come here once a week. Same girl. <laughs> she met my 